Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to unbreak the Lenovo K3 Note. If it is baked and if it is in any condition, you can apply this method and you can get your Lenovo K3 Note repaired. So there is no need to go to any shopkeeper or any local shopkeeper if uh, because if you root uh, suppose if your phone is getting break and after that your warranty is void so you will get to uh, go to a local shopkeeper show and you will pay how a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks or something like that so no need to do that so just i use my method and you can get rid of this so in this tutorial i am going to show you the complete the complete repairing process of the Lenovo K3 Note. It is in, even it is in bad condition. Is suppose if it is not starting or if it any it's showing any message on the screen. So you can apply this method. So let's begin. So as you can see, this is my Lenovo K3 Note, and so I opened this because to show you that this is completely actually not working itself. This battery is charged. Now she. I'm going to just insert this battery. I'm just going to insert this battery after that just put in the cover I'm going to show you that this is completely bricked see this phone just vibrated but it's not starting it's completely bricked phone suppose you are telling that there is no battery in the phone then for you I'm going to just uh, plugging it into the charge Uh, wait for this also I'm going to just removing the battery and once again I'm plugging in charge so okay see the phone is charging okay and you can see that there is a message on the screen that tool DL image fail as you can see here it's tool dl image fail means it is completely pricked phone and there is no any uh, hope to getting started so if i'm pressing also this button then it's not started it's just stuck in the screen so from here we can we are going to repair this phone so first of all i'm going to show you how to do it first of all i am going to switch off this phone so that the battery uh, remains charged when we'll do the process so i'm going to just uh, switch off this so I have completely removed the battery of the phone and now I'm going to show you the needed files what is the what are the file needed for this entire process so let's move to the file so I'm going to show you the files I have saved it in a one drive see k3 note full recovery software I have saved this file as k3 note full recovery software I have, I have made this three folder it is firmware upgrade with marshmallow this is IMEA fix I will tell you each and every folder when later this is root for rooting the Lenovo K3 node so first of all we need to root this firmware upgrade in this these four files are required for the Lenovo K3 node firmware to make it unbreak so first of all I have to extract this file flash tool dot exe okay so i have extracted it and i have also to extract this one k50a40s112 that second file and no need to extract this third file i will tell you later what is this third file and i have to just install this lenovo usb auto run driver this lenovo usb okay no need to just run it just wait for the yeah after that you have to just install this I have uh, it's very simple just uh, do next next install it wait for the installation to complete see it's installed after that you have um, go to this extracted folder I have extracted in on the desktop in a new folder see new folder here it's two file that flash tool and that second file I have told you so just after that you have to open the flash tool then go to the flash tool.exe open this here it will show this something like message like that just no need to worry just press ok after that 
see here the download agent option will be automatically selected if not then you can just go to the download agent and just go to the file where you have select uh, where you have saved this flash tool just select here mtk okay that's this flash tool folder already itself after that you have to just check see the option op, go to option and see here that download download and see here this option should be checked da something checksum and just close it after that you have to select the scatter file go to this and uh, go to the extracted folder where we have select extracted the second folder just open it go to target.bin just select this mtk file see the process see it's uh, loaded it will take some time and it will load completely after that um, just don't uh, just here you have to just change it to firmware upgrade if it is download only then just change it to firmware upgrade okay and after that that's all uh, we have done so far and after that just press the download button okay and just leave it after that you have to do one thing just go to your phone just uh, you have to insert the battery okay just the cover just take the data cable and insert it properly and here I will recommend you to use the original data cable so that the entire process will be done successfully after that just you have to connect this to your USB drive as you will connect the USB drive see the process will automatically begin wait for the process to begin see just waiting for the process as you can see uh, here something is running it's actually copying the new firmware official firmware on your Lenovo K3 node so just wait and during this entire process do not touch anything leave it as it is see and during in this entire process do not try to switch off on your phone the phone switch must be switched off so let the entire process to complete it will take hardly around seven minutes seven to eight minutes i am just pausing the video and after that i will come back again hello friends welcome back now you can see that it took around here it is now 97 percent and it took around eight minute time uh, Uh, yes, yeah, see, see, it's telling the download okay, complete. So, after that, you have to just close this tab. You can also close this tab now. Move to your phone now. Simply unplug the phone now. Take it now. Power it on. see now there is no symbol of any fail symbol now it's now it is not brick the phone it is now android 5.0 lollipop so see wait for the phone to do start it is actually first time after the repair so it will take time to begin see see here it is something later initializing so it will take around 15 to 20 minutes to the phone to start so i am skipping this video so after that just wait 15 to 20 minutes you will definitely get your uh, phone unbreaked so i'm just pausing the video again Yep, uh, and you can see that it is initialized so far. 
and yes guys uh, no need to uh, worry because at this point we are now initialization process here so here it it will process around approximately 4 to 5 minutes so don't worry it will be here only from uh, this point to this point it will move uh, fast but from here you have to wait around 5 to 6 minutes so just wait I am pausing the video again and guys make sure that your battery is charged because if it, is, if it will be switched off then you have to start it again so you if you want then you can just plug it into charge during this process no problem you can plug this to charge so you can see that till now it is the stuck that only see the initialization process is stuck at this point so keep patience and do not remove your battery during this process wait it may take more than 10 minutes also so please do not remove the battery just wait for that initial initialization to complete see now the initial is proceeding see as you can see it took around 7 to 8 minutes to complete it may take more than that also so after that choose your language whichever you prefer I prefer English then just press next ok no need to worry after that if you want to connect to the WLAN or not so it depends on you or data connection I will prefer WLAN so I am just connecting to a Wi-Fi network so I am just pausing the video so I have connected my phone to a Wi-Fi network after that you can skip this step also connection is process so just uh, move forward just just leave that wait for this if you want then you can log in your email id i am logging so i am skipping this so i just logged in just press next next see so now your phone is not bricked now it is completely repaired and it was that it was like this uh, like that when you brought this phone so I am going to show you show this Android version what's the Android version of the phone just see mm, about phone device inform see it is android 5.0 it is android 5.0 it is build number something and see it is leno k50 f40 that is indian version so guys uh, one important note if you want uh, to uh, upgrade uh, to do in any other version also then you have to just uh, download your official stock rooms like if you want to do this entire process for Leno K50 T5 then you have to download for Leno K50 T5 that uh, second folder so you have to stock that firmware in this so after that I am going to show, uh, show you that one problem here as you can uh, see here as I uh, I have dual sim phone and I have inserted two sims but uh, in one sim it's uh, there is a cross so I'm going to show you the problem what is this see it is showing invalid IMEI okay so maybe you get may, may get same problem so I will also tell you how to solve this problem in this process so no need to worry after this completing this you have to just you uh, see if you want to upgrade your system to the marshmallow then I am going to show you after that I have told you about one file that I told you that I will uh, show you that later so now I am going to show you that file what was the work, work of that file mm -mm -mm. 
see i have told you to this to not uh, change anything in this third file so what we what you have to do in this third file you have to just copy this third file into your phone's internal memory remember that you have to copy this third file to your phone's internal memory so i'm going to just copy it i am skipping this step so that to save your time so i'm doing it fast so i'm just copying this just connect see after that you must unlock your device just go back here or just do not extract this zip file remember if you will extract this zip file then it will not work so just copy it and move to this lenovo k50 a40 remember you have to copy it in phone storage so just here just copy and paste it oh. just wait for the completion i am skipping this video hello guys welcome back now you can see the file is copied and after copying this file you have to do one thing and please guys do not extract this file just you have to right click on the zip folder and just rename it if will if will not rename it then it will not work so after that you have to rename it to update dot zip in a small letters see you have to rename it like that update dot dot zip so after renaming it just click outside just wait for it to rename see it is update, uh, it is renamed at update dot zip now move to your phone just unplug it after that just open your lock and after that you have to switch off your phone power off actually guys now we are going to upgrade this to marshmallow so after switching off you have to go to the recovery mode and for going to recovery mode when the device is switched off you have to hold these three buttons together volume up volume down along with the home key so you can just move to this a volume of volume down along with the home key press this all together oh sorry 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 actually guys i have not pressed actually the all the three keys at the same time so it goes to the meta mode so be careful while pressing the keys i just removed the battery and now i am going to do it again so for going to the recovery mode you have to simultaneously press all the keys wait i am pressing you have to sim uh, just press all the three keys simultaneously i will forget forwarding this step so actually guys that time i didn't press all the three key at the same time that why the phone goes into the meta mode so be careful while pressing the, all the three keys you have to press all the three keys simultaneously so uh, i'm just pressing all the three keys again at the, at the same time i'm just pausing the video yep after pressing the, all the three keys you will move to the leno recovery mode and guys be careful while pressing that keys i skipped this video because i was actually holding camera with one hand so after that you you have to just move move with the help of up volume of volume down key just select your language as you will prefer i prefer english and for selecting you have to press this power button and after that you have to just see you can move up and down and just go to the install update package and select this with power button 
and this um, this will appear then just select this yes and press the power button to select this so guys this see as you will press this so your device will start to update so so as you can see your device is updating see it's 12 13 like that so i'm just skipping this video skipping this process as you can see the process is in progress see uh, one important point at 49 percent the process will uh, stuck and it will stuck as it was before it was stuck the initialization process so please um, don't remove your battery during this process it will take around 5 to 10 minutes again and it will suddenly increase to this 100 percent so after 49 percent after it will stuck and after 5 to 10 minutes it will suddenly goes to 100 percent so please don't remove the battery during this process so wait for the process i will show you again after some time i'm just pausing the video see after 49 percent it took around seven to eight minute time but and suddenly it shows this screen so install success so after that you have to just select this restart new system and just press power button to select it so as you can see that this device is restarting see the restarting interface is changed as it was before now it is upgraded to marshmallow so see its interface is looking beautiful just it will take time so I'm just pausing the video again so after that spin this scan android is upgrading and so this is the first time starting that that's why it's taking so much time so see it, app number 24 of 91 5 of 91 so it will take around 10 minutes so just wait I am pausing the video again welcome back so as you can see it took around 20 minutes for me to optimize all the apps it's really a very long process so as you can see just starting just wait for something see now your device is started can you see I have only 7% battery so I'm going to plug it into the charge so as you can see now we are in marshmallow upgrade of this device what's saying oh it's saying that android and vivo are two styles so about this two things i have mentioned in my previous video that is uh, pros and cons in the marshmallow upgrade so if you want the detail of that thing you can watch my previous video so i'm going to show you the version of this so go to settings go to about phone this device information see it's Leno k50 a40 android 6.0 and security patch level something like that. so this is now android 6.0 marshmallow but you may have noticed one thing that when this device start for the first time see the mobile data automatically started 
I have not turned on the mobile data. It's automatically started with the system itself, and the Wi-Fi connection also started that I have off now. So, see, these are the few problems about the mobile data and the Wi-Fi connections and something like that. So, for fixing this problem, you have to now upgrade this. Uh, there is a 4 MB upgrade after this. Uh, so I am going to just connect this to Wi-Fi network. So I have just connected my device to Wi-Fi network after that for fixing that problem you have to just go to about phone go to system update see wait for the network to select update see as you can see that there is a something and you can read the warning warning message by pausing the video it, it's it is saying the same thing that I told you that the um, it fix this 4 MB update fixes the problem of the Wi-Fi and the mobile data and some VR virtual reality so that problem will be fixed by this update so just download it so there, just wait for the download to complete see as you can see that the update has been downloaded what is this oh, battery level oh my actually battery level is around 7% so it will be installed when my battery level will be minimum of 30% so guys I will charge my phone to 30% then after I will continue the video so as you can see one more thing that there is still uh, that invalid IMEA problem so I will fi also fix this so just keep patience and so see you guys after some time I'm just pausing, forwarding this video I will charge my phone then I will continue this update well, welcome back again so as you can see my battery is charged to 30% now I can install the software so after that you have to just press ok the device will reboot It will again take too much time to install. It is the same procedure as we have upgraded the marshmallow upgrade. So wait for this to complete. I'm just forwarding the video. Welcome back as you can see that process is completed 100% after that now we see what happens just wait for the device to start as you can see now it is updated and after the 4 MB update this update is the latest version of the Lenovo K3 Note till now so now all the bug fixes and all the network problem like Wi-Fi Wi-Fi connectivity and the network problem at the startup of the device so that all is fixed now so as you can see it is upgrading like before as you have get the marshmallow upgrade so as you can see Android 5 of 91 so it will take again around 15 to 20 minutes time or it may take less time also depends on the device so guys please follow each and every step that I am doing and I am doing this complete tutorial for you all and I am also showing you that every position that at this point the device will stuck and at this point the device will so keep patience so please um, don't remove battery at any point and please follow all the steps each and every single step at the time so you can see it will take time so I am just forwarding this video so as now this process is completed almost just wait for the process to complete and now as you can see that there is 
not data connection on the Wi-Fi is was on previously that's why it's it is on now so just now as you can see that the data, uh, software is updated successfully I'm just turning off the Wi-Fi it's not needed now as you can see that the system update system has been successfully updated so this is a very latest update of the Lenovo K3 Note so as you can see now all things are done all the update are done the phone is unbricked and the phone is uh, successfully repaired but one thing is missing as you can see when I am sliding this here you can see that the sim 1 is detected sim 2 is uh, that is uh, my airtel sim is detected but sim 1 is written as invalid imei actually during the time of flash when you will flash stock when you will phone will break then you i will imei will be lost so for fixing this i am going to forward this procedure just i am going to see, show you that see imei is lost completely star has 06 has see imei 1 blank imei 1 2, 2 blank so imei is lost if you want you can see in the system update system also so go to about phone see device information it is android 6.0 marshmallow so no problem and then see the here see status here you can see that imei see IMEI see it is here unknown here it is IMEI 2 slot 2 is also unknown so IMEI is completely lost so for fix now here time for fixing the IMEI so let's see begin so for fixing the IMEI you need required root access in this phone so now we are going to root this phone so just move towards the laptop after that I'm just hmm, where it is yeah that I'm going to that folder where I have saved all the files for the Lenovo K3 node see I, uh, we have done this firmware update we have used all these files now we are going to use this root so for uh, rooting you have to download this two files Lenovo K3 Note Manager and Lenovo USB device so you know you do not need this second one because we have already installed this before so you have to just need this 70.4 MB file which is created by Prince so now we are you have to just download this I will provide you the link all the um, link in the description so just download this and extract after I have extracted in it and you know, I have just extracted and installed the setup I am going to show you after extraction what you will get see uh, when you will extract now then you will get you will get this setup outside and you have to just install it it's pretty simple and this app is developed by Prince Vishwakarma he is a very awesome guy and he just created this simple app for routing there is no any chance of getting unbreak during this is root process so after installing you will get this icon on your desktop Lenovo K3 node management okay so just you have to open this run this as administrator just to see yeah these are many options available okay so after opening this you have to just move to your device just unlock this just go to settings and for routing you have to just go to about phone then device information then you have to tap build number to get the developer option so just tap the build number several times till it says you are now a developer go back now you can see here developer option is enabled now just open developer options just slide down and you can see that USB debugging so you have to just on this USB debugging so just on it just press ok now go back ok after doing this just connect this phone to your PC so I am going to connect this phone on PC 
just connect this see after connecting here uh, message will appear on the screen just press ok that's it, it will the PC will detect this and after that just you have to just click here uh, detect device see it's showing that device connected Lenovo K50 F40 Android version 6.0 after this it's very simple method that the guy developed this app so after this just you have to click on root see after this window will this screen will appear this after that just you have to click here root then you have to just continue wait for some time see see the process of routing it's very simple and while uh, when you press root then the phone will be automatically booted and see what will happen in this phone see both the things at the same time and please do not touch the phone while looting okay so if something went wrong then you have to do the entire process that we have done from starting so please don't touch anything see it's fine. just leave the phone as it is do not touch the phone <clears throat> yeah, as you can see that the routing process is proceeding successfully see what is happening in this small screen oh it's writing that don't touch the device okay yeah it's 41 percent so guys please don't touch the device till the full routed process is completed so wait for the process to complete it's a very fast process and very simple process that the guy Prince Viswakarma has created this app and this app is a very good app I will tell you the features of this app oh as you can see device rooted successfully ok now you can close this see device is starting you can disconnect this from PC as you can see that the device started and it do not take and the routing process does not take more than 5 minutes so as you can see now all things are done successfully and there is no any Wi-Fi or mobile data issue after the 4 MB update now only thing is remaining that the invalid IMEI so now we are going to fix that so before that I am going to show you that this device is now rooted so let's see I am going to download the app in play store that app is basic root checker now if I will connect it now just download this basic root checker app I'm just skipping this process now just install this first one
Okay. App installed. Let me just open it. Okay, have something message there. Just agree. Press OK. Just verify root. Just grant it. See, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So this shows that device is rooted. Now we are moving to the fixation of this wrong IMEI, invalid IMEI. Uh, okay, so for fixing this, we need an app called Mobile Uncle and IME and uh, that Mobile Hero app. So I'm going to show you that files. Let's see, what is this? Yep, here from this folder, I am going to show you. See, these are the two apps Mobile Uncle and uh, Tool Hero. So, I am just going to install these two apps in mobile. So, just connect this and copy this and install it. I am skipping this step. So, we'll come back after copying this, that two apps. Okay, just open it. Storage. It is I have copied in internal storage. No matter, you can copy it anywhere. You can see that yeah, this mobile uncle app. This is the first time installation, so you have to just enable it. This unknown sources option. Just enable it. Press OK. No problem. And then now try to reinstall. Just accept it. Okay, press done. Now you have to install this tool hero. Next, install. Yep, done. So as you can see that there is still network problem and invalid IMEI problem now it's going to fix so just over here just you have to open this tool hero app okay now move to IMEI okay before that I'm going to again show you that it is still the IMEI star uh, zero six is still IMEI is blank. See IMEI one two are blank. Now just open this and see this is the IMEI. Here see there are two options. This modify modify. Just click on the first one. Just delete all these. Okay. Now uh, IMEI are the numbers. It is written on your uh, when you will remove the battery of the phone then it is written there IMEI 1 and 2 I have already s just saved it in computer for my reference so I am going to see that IMEI number there uh, uh, uh. IMEI you can just copy before doing this IMEI fixation you can just copy it down so okay. before doing this it will grant super user permission okay. so okay so now just uh, you can just remove this it's not needed yet now just see that number and just copy it I'm just typing that okay after just type this first one and just press modify it will do some process it is going to restart ok your device will restart so in this way you have fixed this IMEI 1 in the same way you have to fix the IMEI 2 I will show you how to do that also actually guys I am covering each and every step so that you do not face any problem in doing this so many guys face problem in 
many steps so i have also faced many problems while learning all these things so after doing that just go to again tool hero this cimei and see you can see that you have to again just delete all the things and just copy that second imei i have just doing this my second imei just i am typing okay so as you can see i have just typed the second imei just press modify it will do again the same process press okay see it will restart just i am skipping this step I will come back now as you can see both the imers we will check that imer updated successfully or not just i will show you star has 06 has this is the code for checking the imei of a phone see now the imer updated successfully there are two imei am1 and 2 okay now just press okay and i am going to show you this in system setting also just go to about phone just go to status imei information c uh, before slot 1 and slot 2 were unknown now you can see that imei also provided and you can see that the network problem c it's now it's detecting my both the sims and there is no network problem and in this entire process all the problems all your doubts each and everything is covered each and everything means um, even uh, you have covered the uh, how to unbreak the phone if the phone is in any condition you can use this process suppose if is if anyone's phone is uh, not bricked it's uh, normal but you want to root it then you can use this um method if you want to upgrade to marshmallow you can use this method if you want to if someone wants to use android 5.0 lollipop then he can do the method starting from the starting um uh, method so each and everything suppose if uh, anyone facing ima problem ima problem then he can do this and if anyone facing that dl error that in the we have seen the, the starting of the video so you he can use this method means i mean each and every single step i have shown in this video and everything is covered entire thing of the lenovo k3 note is covered so actually you don't uh, need to go to the service center or any shopkeeper and pay some extra money for lenovo k3 note reparation so you can do everything on your home so as you can see that each and everything and now you can see the system is also now marshmallow upgraded it is the latest version as you can see the voice information it's android 6.0 marshmallow will invoke a 50 a 40 and you can see system update okay wait first i'll connect to the network okay as you can see system update now go to the system update see your device is up to date so no problem as you see i have inserted the sd card already so it's not matter is this like it and i am going to um, and guys no matter that you have inserted your memory card or any sim in not any data will not be erased in the external storage so see these are my previous datas so all these are here so don't worry and leave it memory card erased if you want but if you want for a safety then okay you can remove it so guys this was my whole tutorial regarding the leno k3 note i have covered each and every point of the leno k3 note each and everything is in this video so this video i have made it for you guys so if you like this video and if this video was helpful to you in any way so please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos so and before doing all the process just read this description once it will be helpful for you so thanks for watching and please like subscribe and share this video if you want so thank you